you may wonder what a gap pad is that I referred to earlier. And basically, it's a thermal bridge between the circuit board and the heat sink that you're using. Without this thermal bridge, much of the heat will stay in the printed circuit board or in the LED. You want to transfer that heat out of the LED into your heat sink and then into the air. And the gap pad, which is a special thermoelastic material, helps you to do that more efficiently. Most manufacturers merely bolt the aluminum circuit board to the heat sink with no thermal interface. Or sometimes they'll use a thermal grease. The problem with thermal grease is it's inconsistent to apply and over time it will dry up and the thermal conductivity will go down. We like to use the gap pad because it provides a consistent thermal transfer between the printed circuit board and the heat sink. Yes, it's more expensive, but it gets us better results. Just like the copper core board is more expensive than an aluminum board, but it gives you better results. I try to design the heat sink to optimize the amount of surface area available for airflow within a given package size. So it's very important to transfer the heat from the LEDs into the heat sink and from the heat sink into the air. And I know that if there's no airflow, for example, it's a stationary application, then the thermal management system with the thermistor will take over to control the temperature of the LED. The thermistor is a way to measure the temperature at the LED to determine whether or not it's running too hot or not. That's important because you want to maintain a certain limit to the temperature at the LED so that you prolong its life and you can maintain its performance over its lifespan. But at the end of the day, what does copper drive technology mean to you? It means that our lights shine brighter, run harder, cool faster, and live longer.